Hello everyone. And yeah, welcome. We I or well I have reached thousand days or thousand seven days in my Minecraft hardcore. And that wasn't uh, I thought I was gonna make a bit of an update to show what I've done in those thousand days. So we start here in my Enderman farm. Or my XP farm with of Enderman. I have droppers here so you got two observers to just instantly drop all items down there. There's a bunch of books and stuff. Come on, books. I've been much here. I, it was usually a 3x3 three three collectionaire down there, but I made it to a 1x1 one by, one by now, or a 1x3 instead. So I can now stand in one place and just kill all of them. Coming in here, we've got the end island. Hasn't really happened much here. There's the portal I used to go find the lighters and everything. I haven't fought the dragon more than once yet. I have a Wither Rose farm. That's how many Wither Roses I've left after I built a Wither farm. Yeah, so here I have a dispenser for chicken eggs. If I want to have more Wither Roses and I can just summon that guy and cheese into that. And there's a tunnel lead to the Enderman farm and the spawn location in the end. Anyways. Back to the spawn chunk. And we have a few things. We have a bunch of random villagers here and there. But here we have an iron farm. Which have produced quite a lot of iron for me. Or enough iron for me at least. Because having the spawn chunk it always produces. And yeah, we have quite a lot. I'll give you a bit of fly around. It looks like that. Pretty simple. The hardest part is to get the zombies in place. Here currently I'm correcting the snow. Trying to. And what else do we have here? We have start for a bee farm over there. That's not been, not been built yet. And then we have dripstone and infinitive lava. That we kind of collect. Probably going to do something farm of that as well. So at some point. But down here we have the MS MSU. Oh, the massive storage unit. Which we have a sh shulker box unloader. Unload sh shulker in this. You put shulker boxes in here. And then you start by pressing that button. And it... When this shulker is empty, it destroys and returns to the chest. And the ship sends all items in this water stream up. It goes all the way around here. Ending in these chests with everything else. It seems like my dirt is now actually filled. So I have a lot of extra dirt apparently. Uh, so yeah, I have stone, andesite, granite, diorite, dirt, grass. And it's gravel and cobblestone currently in these. And these hold quite a lot of items. You can put the sugar boxes down there to just fill them up. It takes about 3 minutes to fill up. But there's over 132,000 items in, in the max. And since the dirt is full now, I have over 132,000 dirt. Still a, a lot of work needs to be done here, but it's, it's a start. And welcome to my starting base. It's on the edge of a jungle and a desert, and I have built it a treehouse. A lot of creepers have blown up here, that's why it's a lot of missing leaves. I did also move, but you should... In the start I had my enchantment set up over here. Oh, I thought I'm fun dying. I'm gonna bring that with me. I have my enchantment set up here, but I moved up onto my new place. And yeah. Also have a bit of wheat farm on top of this tree. And a tree farm. A bunch of other things. The other thing we have built here is a sugarcane farm, pretty standard design, and also a bamboo cactus, which is a low-level XP farm that makes green dye. So the bamboo comes in from three different directions. I have a lot of bamboo. Then it, the cacti drops down from above, below, and it burns into green dye, and you can stop it here to stop this hopper and just get the experience when needed. I haven't really done much else with it. You know, quite some time. It was my first XP, XP farm. Nothing real else is around here. I had a few pillagers in a few boats over there at some point, but I think I killed them. Because I actually started a raid here. Let's see, do we have any hoglings? Here I have a bit that makes nether brick for me. And I pretty much made a bunch of these digouts, strip mining digouts, all over the place. But then I made a tunnel bore. Now you have a lot of stuff on the ground, but this is my TNT bore. Using ancient debris is explosive proof and stop to have at the end. And I guess I can show you how this works. It's a design I found 
on the internet I just added a few honeycombs here so you can stand on it and follow the machine and you can just shoot that forward and it explodes and since ancient debris is explosion proof it will show where it is and you can just mine it probably gonna look up the the widow where I that I used to build this so I can put it in the description can check it out but unfortunately now I don't know who did it I don't remember this is so far away because it's actually not a it's not a portal this is my widow skull farm the widow skull with the piglin over there and they just fall down here so you can it two hits with the sharpness sword but I do have a smite sword so just collect the different ones over here Give relatively a decent experience as well. But yeah, with this, this took a few days, but I actually slabbed off everything. Everything I could see and find, I slabbed off. There's probably some areas I missed, but... Yeah. So this entire castle, both inside and out, is slabbed. So now a blaze anything can spawn. A bunch of others. Just a bunch of came from forest. This one should be would have been better to build in a soul valley. This one is a lot more sparse on the ice, which is my go-to now when I'm actually building these things. I'll build, build a few. But yeah, welcome to the firework factory. Where this down here is a creeper farm. I don't think we will see any creepers drop though. We see the bat. The light down there is only in the bottom town does not affect the actual drops. But we have a stack of gunpowder. Yeah. We're gonna take a stack of gunpowder with us and stack. We have sugarcane farms also. I gotta show you where the sugarcane come from here in a second. We're gonna pick up a stack of paper. So, what is this thing? Well, we've got the King's Hall with nether wart because we made the roof of the nether wart. We have over here 4x4 four four piston door that opens up into the courtyard. And this thing took quite a while. We've got a stable here, but pretty much all of these walls, you can hear the rail cart, contains a sugarcane farm. Yeah, sugarcane farms all, all around. To produce the paper, of course. There's also a lot of endermen spawning all over the place that annoys me to no end. They have destroyed the farms once. There's also a panic room because they can AFK there without a bigger issue. Okay, we're on top of the tower. There's another snow farm over there that I used. And we got cats all over the place to avoid phantoms and creepers spawning. And yeah, we got this is the roof I went with. Which I pretty tried to go for a more uh, shrine looking thing. Yeah, let's go here. Let's start going here first, because we have to go back in. Here's the snow collecting. Over here we have a cobblestone generator. A cobblestone farm. I think it's currently full. Yeah, it's currently full. But it activates over here that starts pushing this lava and cobblestone. It makes a four wide, four wide thing. And then we have a TNT duplicator at the top that's also controlled with this thing. It runs on a clock. Yeah, let's fly back. We have a flag over there with a bunch of thong things around. All these four towers, the creepers. And also this thing. This is also fully functional. Port Colors. That's in the middle tower. Yeah, that's the firework factory. It's just a door to the outside. And of course the throne hides a bed. So here's one where one area where I got a lot of stone. Still have a sitting around a lot of stone. But yeah, we have a slime farm. We have a I checked this, this is three slime chunks in a four by four area, and then I digged out another three from the wall to have be able to have this big slimes fall down when they are hunting golems. This is all going to be a slime farm at some point. 
I have got a quite a lot of slime balls just for this. This is the unloading station, which I will probably make three of when it's the final. Here we are. We have a multicolored beacon that gives us every single buff in the game. Of the highest level. Then... Let's put out of... Let's fly so we don't have to care about those. We have a bunch of cured villagers over there. And this is my base. We have a bunch of llamas. That's a zombie villager collected there as well. And then the garden with a maze. A bunch of random trees. And there's my bedding. I think I had two things that was going to go in here. I shall left the where. Uh, I'll throw another totem from dying in there so I have it. This is my bed. It's a string to keep the carpets floating. That's globe pattern, which I've got in for somewhere. I think I used a golden apple for it actually, which was a waste. Yeah, here we have the map of everything. We are currently over there. And we have the ocean monument that we're digging out over there. Then we have a bunch of other things over there actually. I'm also probably gonna show. So I'm gonna take this map with me. And we have something down this way. We gotta go show before we go and check out the ocean monument and everything. The starter base is somewhere over over up well, probably on this slot it would be. Well the rocket factory is over there and the slime is over in that mountain those mountain ridges. What else? We have a dining table with a bunch of different things. Then we have these kind of lights, sources and hang fruit that I've gotten. For globers. Bunch of music discs. That I picked up. Of course uh fridge. And the kitchen with the smoker and everything. Armor stands for going out and in. Let's go down. We have a cellar with a bunch of random stuff. And my enchantment and alchemy setup. And also over here we have my earlier storage system. Very small, very tiny. And I have some more storage around here. Well, yeah, let's go this way. We are gonna go check out this place. This is my farm. I have a bunch of different on the chicken farm that can produce me eggs. Then I also get a bunch of chicken things. Cows, horses over there, a well. And a, and a cat that scares away creepers because we need those. And inside here we have a bunch of an automatic sheep. Farm. Gives me every single color wool in the game. These two silos are for pumpkins and melons. So I get quite a lot. I started quite have a lot. That's a raid. I don't care about. We have also. I can give you an air view because I can actually climb up there. We have a wheat farm behind there. Yeah, there's a wheat field, then the horses. Oh, there we have an automatic. Turtle hatching. I have tested a bit so you can get three turtles, and when they grow up fully, they will get skites. I can do it in one by one area. If you have four, they will start pushing each other out, which is not ideal. Yeah, there's an ocean monument already. And this is gonna become a garden farm at some point. I have gardens here, but we don't really care about those because we are gonna go down here. And we have an entire emptied garden area. A lot of soul sound that we will gonna need for at some point. Then under here is just underneath and I have a conduit to give proper oh, swimming and everything. Yes. But here we have a built amethyst cave. And it leads down Well, you could probably guess it to an amethyst or a yode. Well, not much to look at right now because I dig it out to make an automatic geode farm at some point. Or amethyst farm. Yeah, so we have a witch farm here, killing them with using water to get them out. Okay, that is enough. Enough of this. Let's... Let's try to show how large this thing is. This is my platform for AFKing. Oh, the lag spike wasn't helping. And you can see the circle. 
I've digged away every single piece of grass and dirt on, in the side of the circle now. I put back in the corners too. So it isn't too bad. I'm gonna show cutting off. And well, I have nine beacons in this area that I've collected. I still have a, f a few more in a chest. But nine beacons that covers this entire area. You can see the outline over there, which is the 200, 256 by 256 box. But yeah, that's what I've been digging. So, that's how my hardcore world looks like after a thousand days. Here's the thousand more. Take care, and until next time, see ya.